Well, howdy diddly dandy then, chums, as I, Captain Steve, and I'm standing in the rear end of my spider and my anomaly type system that watches over a failed boundary. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get rid of Air Biscuit, because Air Biscuit just turns into grass liquor, he doesn't really fly, he just licks the ground and it's a bit of a pain in the neck trying to traverse on him. So today, chums, yeah, if you want this actual location for this base, here it is right here. Now this is an abandoned area of space and what I'm planning to do is go on up to the abandoned station and see if there is a terminal at the back of the station. So somebody in my comments asked me, Captain Steve, have you been to one of your abandoned stations and checked it out? No, no I have not. So I'm going to be going to do that. If you do want to come here and see this base and also an abandoned station, there we go. Oh, look at that. The discovery servers are down and um, yeah, everything that, yeah, it says that I discovered it, but I'm fairly sure I did. I renamed this planet, but maybe I didn't. You know, who knows? Anyway, I'll see you guys up at the abandoned station. Heck yes, up in the sky there. All right, so here we go. We're heading over. There's my freighter and here is an abandoned station. Now, an abandoned station is going to be broke to hell. I mean, look at that. It looks like it's come under fire. I'm going to shoot it a bit as well. Funny thing is, sentinel ships still fly out in an abandoned system. What the fudge? Okay, they're just sitting about having breakfast inside here, I take it. Right, well, let's fly on in and let's have a quick look, see? Oh, no, look, you can see already. There is nothing in the back end of this station. It's like it hasn't been revamped with any Anything new. Well, let's just check the floor in though. Let's see if the floor has got reflections. It does seem to have reflections, but some of these reflections are a bit weird. I'm seeing white light. All the lighting in here is red. Where's it getting the reflection of white light? Um yeah so yeah a lot of people told me that it wasn't true ray tracing because when i done my first video and i saw this i was blown away in an actual real station and uh yeah so they said it was clever uh, texture placement or something some sort of shader and yeah it does appear to be that way so thanking you people out there in the verse that are more technical minded than me they had me tricked for sure right so let's head on over here now there is a portal here that i can use to jump down to one of my planets then i have a portal placed on. So we're going to jump there, I'm going to hit up a code, and we're going to be getting rid of Air Biscuit, and we're going to be getting ourselves a lovely jubbly, holy fudge, we're not getting a giant sandworm, that'd be freaking ace, wouldn't it? Heck yes it would. We're going to be getting ourselves a nice little bitty owl. Yeah, that'd be freaking mind-blowing if you could have a sandworm though, heck yes. Saddle me up! But then when it dies through the ground, that's going to hurt a tad. Right, well I need to activate this dang thing. Here we go. Activate Mondo, let's do this. Activate Portel. And let's just key in a code. So I'm going to go for reflection. And with Sunday set, one of these little voxely gem things, which I think is a 3D box. We've got ourselves a rocket, a sunset, another 3D box with a ball in it. There you go. That's what it looks like to me. People call it a gem or a voxel. I've gone with that, but yeah. We've got an eclipse. We've got a waypoint. We've got a black hole. We've got ourselves a beetle. And we've got ourselves one of these Wellyman Wellwells and another Eclipse. And there we go. And this is in the Euclid system still, chums. I did put it up in big freaking letters on the screen there. But if you are in another dimension, obviously the code that you put in won't take you to the same place as where I'm going. Heck no. So you need to be arriving on planet Fuku. <laughs> How did that get through profanity? Anyway, this wasn't discovered by me. It was discovered by Warfie. Now, the discovery servers are down, as you may have saw earlier. So, yeah, perhaps that's why it's not actually traversing over. There we go. Discovery servers are down, which is a bit cack. Because I know Warfie is very much into his Klingon, because his actual name is Warfie Farqua or something like that, which means fun, basically, inside of Klingon. So he probably would have named this klingon -y type stuff. Oh, look at these butterflies with long tails, and they're red. Heck yes. I went and tried to colour my one red. It came out freaking green. I could swap him as well, but then that's a lot of sort of genetic modification I've got to reduocate, which can't be asked. Well, hello there, my little bitel. So, yeah, I want one of these beetles. It doesn't look overly large. It doesn't look overly large, this beetle. And it says it's an adult, but it's fairly tiny, teeny tiny. Let's see if there's no... Oh, these ones look even smaller. Maybe I should have just gone with that one. I mean, this one's very small. Okay, well, um, fine. Uh, I, when... When he, when um, Wolfie sent me a screenshot of these beetles, they're a little bit more white than this. These are very red. Maybe there's two different kinds here. Yes, yeah, so this one's quite red and this one's quite small. I mean, look at that. I'm, 
Yeah, I'm surprised it can even freaking fly. But then again, I'm surprised beetles can fly anyway. I mean, their wings aren't all that large, are they? And those um, giant sort of wing covers are pretty darn heavy. If you ever hold a beetle, they've got a bit of weight to them. And it's like, well, if a beetle can fly, why can't a human fly? Yeah, bit of an odd one, but I have seen some videos online of people getting beetles um, wing shell casings, and apparently they've got some sort of magnetic resonance to them. And they flip all over the place. It's crazy stuff. Yeah, so maybe they're anti-gravity flyers. That's freaking mind-blowing stuff. Maybe I should stop there before we go too far down the tinfoil hat-wearing sort of scenarios. Well, hello there, Betal. I fed him. But yeah, let's just jump on this one. This one looks a lot more red and white and stripey. It looks candy striped. Yeah, there we go. There's two different sort of looks to the Beatles here. And I like this one. I like the stripes on this one. It goes well with my ensemble of colour. There we are. Awesome. That looks great. Hello, my new Beatly friend. Yes, and goodbye. Ass biscuit. I mean, air biscuit. But yeah, might as well call him ass biscuit, because heck yes, he was a little bit of a waste of time. And all those resources I pumped into him, trying to get him to blink and fly. Oh well, I hope you find a new life there, air biscuit. Goodbye, my friend. I have myself a new pet. Yes, don't be jealous, air biscuit. Gone for good. What a lovely creature this is. That's going to be my thumb now. And you know what, people? I hope you come here and adopt one of these lovely fandangly beetles. They're much better than Air Biscuit. And see you next time, people, in viewer world. Yeah, cheerio. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. I want to say a massive great big thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you to my backers over on Patreon and on YouTube membership. If you do want to support this channel, you could just not skip my adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. Heck, yes. There's also merch on this screen now. Awesome.